what is going on today we got a new system in the f-150 we are going to be going over what i put in here um a couple of mistakes that i made about trusting online buyers and driving three hours to go buy a system sight unseen and we're gonna throw a montage in on the end of the video and i'm gonna throw a short clip that i had recorded driving going down the road of the system um and probably gonna toss in a short clip of showing off the excursion of the subs and um how much they really move so um let's hop into it so first of all i no longer have a back seat okay this sub uh, had tape on it originally the guy said oh yeah look you know the tape it was in the back of a box chevy so it was kind of supposed to protect the sub which someone decided to put gorilla glue over it the surround is cracked from here to here so i threw some heavy duty flexible silicone on it you're really supposed to use e6000 but i found this brand not sponsored if it will um go into focus goop it does the job pretty well no complaints it self levels to where the only bumps that are over this is from of course the gorilla glue the sub is not blown it's just a torn surround and some not so smart person decided to do gorilla glue on it but to my knowledge i do believe it's around five cubes per sub the tuning is low i can play down to 17 hertz no problem so let's show you the amp so coming over to the passenger side we of course have the rockford fosgate punch 1000 love the amp but wired at half ohm that was my mistake my voltmeter is incorrect and I haven't wired a half ohm, they're dual two, and half ohm on this Fosgate is a little too much with these 18s. Realistically, these amps at one ohm do 13 to 1400 watts on the burst sheets when they came out back in 2007. Realistically, I'm probably getting around 2000 watts out of this Punch 1000. And for 1000 watts per sub, I think I'm scratching onto the 150s to be completely honest. Um. Once we get a, another amp in here, the plan is to shoot for a true 160. I have a SPL meter on the way to do sub reviews and testing to um, let y'all know what to buy and what not to buy. Um, here is a clip of the inside of the box. The box is actually very well made. It's double baffled. Double baffled means the face plate of the box is doubled up the thickness of it. So this looks to be about half inch birch probably. And it's now one inch. Here's the wiring on it. It's not the cleanest. We have zero gauge CCA drop down to a four gauge reducer going into the amp. Realistically, I'd like to get a SCAR RP4500, but it kind of depends on when and how I can get one. And of course, we still have the 12 inch Tesla display. It's actually for sale if anyone with a 2013 or 14 F-150 is interested in getting themselves one, tell them to DM my Instagram, which is gonna be on the screen right here. And I'm asking 750 or best offer located around savannah georgia as for the stuff i have done under the hood um we're not running the big three yet we still have the factory battery and the stock wiring under the hood i do believe we have like a 250 amp anl fuse but that would be it i do plan on doing the big three once i get a bigger amp along with some lithium probably around 60 amp hours just to where i can safely do five or six k clamp five or six k with no problems won't have to worry about voltage drop or anything these trucks actually come stock between a 220 and 200 amp um alternator 
and that should be plenty for some light lithium. So I'm about to throw on some clips of the system playing. It's nothing crazy. I am going to a base comp here um, July 30th in Riceboro, Georgia. So the base comp is located at Briar Park in Riceboro, Georgia. Um, to my knowledge, it is free admission and it's kind of one of them things to show up and have a good time. So if anyone would like to be out there, you're more than welcome to come. It's at 1 p.m. Sunday afternoon, the 30th, July 30th. So I will be out here with the system. It's going to look a little different. There's some plans that I have going on to improve the system, to squeeze out every decibel with only a thousand watts. And hopefully I'll see some people there. Hey, 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 hey.